Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and welcome to the Frugal Sim News for today, Sunday, September the 27th. First up, DCS Rasbam M2000C, the Mirage. I wasn't actually going to cover this because I looked up over the previous shows and I've done a lot of Mirage coverage and I thought, meh, even more Mirage. Then I watched it. What I'm going to talk about is the video you're watching right now. Matt Wagner has posted a full 12 minute video showing the full startup taxi takeoff and flight in the Rasbam M2000C. It's actually a surprisingly easy startup process, which makes sense given the M2000C serves as an interceptor role among others. Um, the video was filmed in DCS World 2, which continues to look absolutely amazing. Sounds and graphics in this video as well on the M2000C also look and sound beautiful with great metal effects in the cockpit and just the right level of detail for those of us who have been hankering for a modern era fighter in the sim at least until DCS F-18 comes along anyway. More information at the video link on Matt Wagner's channel in the show notes below. Next up, Eaglesoft have posted some preview images of the Citation XLS. Now my good friend DeAndre Newman over on Air Daily X posted up these preview shots of the upcoming Eaglesoft Citation XLS. For those not familiar with the aircraft, the XLS is the successor or evolution of the Cessna Citation XL. It's a medium-sized business jet capable of carrying nine very important or wealthy passengers, 1800 nautical miles with a ceiling of flight level 450. There's no new information on the Eaglesoft version of this aircraft yet. Yet, including release dates, the level of systems complexity or the price, but the eye candy certainly does look very appealing indeed. Sticking in the world of previews, Just Flight this week posted up their second set of DH-104 Dove preview shots. Now these were actually posted on Just Flight's Facebook page earlier this week. Fairly obscure and not well known, the de Havilland Dove was a short haul airliner that saw service in the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy where it was named the Devon and the Sea Devon respectively. The aircraft first flew in 1945 and was subsequently adopted by numerous military forces around the world. It could carry eight passengers or cargo, cruise at 187 miles an hour and had a ceiling of 27,000 feet. As with the Eaglesoft preview just now, no information from Just Flight on the complexity level being modeled, release dates or so on unfortunately but do keep an eye on their Facebook page at the link in the show notes below. Next up, Vidan Design have released Danish Airfields X Samso. Highly detailed scenery of the island of Samso, which is located 15 kilometers east of Denmark and includes Echo Kilo Sierra Sierra Airport and the nearby helipad. Also includes custom buildings, custom trees, 3D grass, key landmarks of course on the island, high resolution textures and photorealistic terrain with seasonal texturing, which again being near Denmark is going to be of vital importance to look real. It's available right now for all versions of FSX and prepared version 2 and will set you back 14 dollars, sorry, 14 euros and 95 cents. I still can't say euro cents. I still don't like even saying cents with that. And finally, the bad news. The Aerosoft CRJ has been delayed. Now, Aerosoft were posting a countdown on their forums to the full release and for a while there, it looked like the countdown was decreasing at a rate of one per day. To the point that I was actually going to cover this about a week or two ago in the Frugal Sim News with a release date. And then I spoke to sources very close to the project that I'm not going to reveal and it was uh, explained to me that it was actually quite likely it would not be released within the next 30 days and that forecast has now unfortunately come true. Aerosoft didn't say very much about the delay of this aircraft other than they are seeing some issues that might be trickier than expected. As consolation though, Mathis at Aerosoft did post up the first manual. You can find more information in the Aerosoft forum link below, including a link to download that manual, but you will need to sign up as a member on the forums in order to get that download. That's it for this week's show. It's a short news show. I was actually toying with the idea of not doing the show this week or even switching to doing this show once every two weeks, but hopefully there was something in there for everybody. If I missed stuff, and I'm sure I did, leave me a polite comment in the comment section below and I'll look at it and see if it's worth including in next week's show. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so very, 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 very much for watching. And until next week, I'll see you all very soon.